All right, so you just watched the Jan Hoos video, and as you know, uh, he was burned at the stake, and then his ashes were scattered into the river. Um, and the Bohemians were furious, all right? They condemned the Council of Constance. In turn, the Council of Constance ordered that the University of Prague be dissolved, um, and then they summoned the nobles to the council and accused the king of supporting heresy, all right? So things were really spiraling. Um, in Bohemia, various groups are coming together to oppose the council. Uh, there's the Hussites, um, who were kind of traditionally part of the bourgeoisie, joined with the Taborites, which was kind of an apocalyptic group um, who are generally more part of like the peasantry. Now an important part to know about these groups is the Hussites were willing to retain anything in religion that was not explicitly rejected by the Bible, where the Taborites rejected everything that was not found in scripture. Okay, interestingly, once you get to history too, you're going to see some interesting interestingly similar things play out in the Reformation. Actually, that is the reason I spend quite a bit of time on Jan Hus, is we're going to see real parallels um, between what you have right now and then in the 16th century with the Reformation. So actually, like the Lutherans, Luther, um, he actually was had a very uh, Hussite position, all right? He was willing to retain anything that was not explicitly rejected in the Bible, where somebody like Zwingli and the Swiss Reformation was much more likely to reject anything that wasn't explicitly in the Bible, okay? All right, so these different groups are coming together, fearing an armed invasion uh, from, you know, the, the church ends up calling a crusade against them, uh, the Holy Roman Emperor, you know, there's lots of political enemies that the Bohemians have at this moment, all right? So they come together fearing an armed invasion, and they agree, agree to four articles, which be become the basis to their resistance movement, all right? And these four articles are, the word of God was to be preached freely through the kingdom, that communion would be given in both kinds, um, so the bread and the wine. This is still a really, really big deal um, for a lot of groups, but the unity of brethren was grow directly out of this. This is a this is a fundamental part of, of their faith, all right? Uh, clergy would live in apostolic poverty and gross public sin, especially simony, would be properly punished. All right, so things kind of keep getting worse for Bohemia. Their king, King Wenceslas, this is actually a different King Wenceslas than the Christmas song one, um, but he dies in 1419, and the legitimate successor was uh, the, actually the Holy, Holy Roman Emperor of Germany um, who had let Hus die uh, at the Council of Constance. All right, so the Bohemians insisted that the Holy Roman Emperor agree to the Four Articles, uh, grant freedom of worship, and not name Germans to public power posts. Uh, the Holy Roman Emperor said no, and then he requested that the Pope actually call a crusade against the Bohemians, which he did. Okay. Um, here is a figure, Jan Ziska. He was kind of minor nobility who joined up with the Taborites, and he ordered, um, he organized an incredible fighting force. This picture here is um, kind of like peasant carts uh, that they fashioned into like war chariots. Um, and under Aziska, the Bohemians defeated three different crusades, one in 1420, 1421, 1422. And then after his death, the Bohemians defeated another two crusades in 1424 and 1431. Uh, All right. So then you have a situation where the Pope, the Holy Roman Emperor, is trying to get control of the Bohemians and they can't, all right? They, they can't beat them militarily. So after one more attempt at reconciliation and then one more attempt at crusade, the Catholics realized that they needed to negotiate, all right? They could not beat the Bohemians. So the Church of Bohemia ended up rejoining with the Catholic Church under the condition that communion retained both elements, all right, bread and wine. Many Hussites, as particularly the ones in the nobility, found this completely acceptable. Um, they were never as extreme as some of the other factions. However, many Bohemians left the church and they established the union, the union of brethren, okay, which grew quickly in Bohemia and Moravia. Um, they are still a denomination today. They're the oldest Protestant denomination. Um, period. Um, and we will actually pick them up again in history too.